my life outside of track. I'm just kind of going with the flow of things, but at the track, I set the flow. I am Dalila Muhammad, and I am the 2016 Olympic gold medalist in the 400 meter hurdles. Back in 2012, I did not make the Olympic team. I was out at the trials in the very first round. I think that kind of started really my passion and my drive to make 2016 Olympic Games. I remember just thinking, what do I need to do better to, to make that happen? Track and field, I felt like, was something greater than me. And I couldn't explain that as a kid, but that's really why I kind of stuck with it felt like it was a calling and I didn't know how to put that into words as a kid, but I just knew that it was something I had to do. I was too good to quit and that's really how I felt as even as a 10 year old kid or even being 14. And now looking back, I really don't think I would have even been able to stop even if I wanted to. You know, I think I was naturally talented, but as I got older, I realized that that wasn't gonna be enough and just kind of keeping that in mind. It takes so much more than just doing what you've been doing every single day, you know, almost literally for the, your entire life. I changed up my training. I tried different things, and I just, every single day, I kept telling myself, like, okay, this is for the Olympics, this is for the Olympics. I loved the process of getting better, and I loved the process of seeing how much hard work can really pay off. I think about just being perfect, and then for me, it's kind of, that's the goal, is perfection. I just had like kind of a vision of like where it was gonna go, and I just felt like every day I practiced, I was getting so much stronger and so much better, and I just kind of thought, I thought it's my year, 2016 is gonna be my year, and it's gonna be the year I made it happen. Lila Muhammad at the fastest time in the first round and in the semifinals, and she's storming away with this one, Muhammad. At the trial, I did feel confident in my first two rounds. I did pull out a first place as well, and then of course in the finals, I won to, to make the Olympic team. Lila Muhammad, big PR, one of the fastest times ever by an American, 52.88 for the win. It's kind of like that moment where you're like, wow, all this hard work has really paid off. It's just that moment where you kind of see like all things kind of coming together and finally at that one time, it's like you, you really did do what you set out to do. It just felt like a sense of pride, really, and just kind of happy to kind of represent the USA. It's kind of just like a, a very prideful moment. Being a minority, being a Muslim woman, and to be an African American woman, you have so many things kind of fighting against you at times, and it's it's just nice to just kind of feel like one at that moment in time, like your race and your beliefs don't matter at that point, and you're just all from America. So it's, you definitely feel that, and you get a sense of that, and it's like you're all competing for like this to bring a medal back to the USA. At the Olympics, I was really telling myself to just kind of be focused on me and just focus on what I want to do and just focus on my goals and just reassuring myself that you should be there and believe that it's something that you kind of earned and that you deserve. When I'm putting in my spikes, I'm actually about to race. That's a little bit more like, okay, it's game time. And it's just, I think that's kind of the most exciting for me. I start to visualize and go through my racer, you know, kind of just how I'm going to run the entire 400 um, while I'm putting on my spikes. That's when the warm-up is getting, like, heavy and it's like you have to move faster and you have to do, like, a faster stride or something like that. I feel like in those moments I'm the most confident. When I'm about to go online for a race, I'm, I'm really kind of just confident. I even tell myself, like, this is what you love, like, this is what you're, you're made of, this is what you're made to do. So that's the kind of things I kind of tell myself. I definitely pray before every single race, um, and it's, more, it's mostly me just within my head, just doing it all side down Fatiha while I'm walking to the line. When I step up to the track, something definitely changes for me. I become like super competitive, just really wanting to really, really work hard. I think more of the, my true essence comes out on the track. Can Dalila Mahami deliver here under the most intense pressure? Dalila Mahami is going to produce an absolutely storming finish here. Mahami wins. I didn't really know I was going to win up until I crossed the line. It took me kind of a second to hit me to be in the moment and be proud and happy of the fact that you actually did win and what an accomplished that really is. 
standing on the metal platform, it's just, again, you're back to being proud and just a sense of pride, just being American. Being a champion, I think, is so much more than just your athletic ability. It is mental and just kind of how you think and how your thought process and who you kind of are as the, as the, like your true self, your essence and who you are really all shows on the track. So for me, just being an African-American and being a Muslim and especially, you really have to have tough skin to fight against, I guess, the negative negativity that's thrown at you on a daily basis. So for me, just trying to find that confidence and that's all a place for me just being a Muslim and my faith and just being a woman, having that kind of self reassurance. So that's like what I use and that helps me for when I'm on the field. Winning a gold medal is something that no one can take away from you, but if you want more, you have to put that aside and go on for what's next. And it's definitely hard to get to the top, but to stay there and to, to accomplish more is much, much more difficult.